Hello everyone. So in today's video, we'll be discussing about the concept of back orders in Magento 2. So most of the time you guys must have seen there's a term called back orders which has been used in the inventory module of any particular uh, product whenever you visit the admin page of, a, of that particular product. So that basically helps in the uh, that is the stock management of that particular product. So we'll be discussing that uh, like the concept of that in today's video and I believe that after today's session we'll be able to uh, understand the concept of back orders. So without any further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, I'm into my uh, Magento's dashboard. Uh, so what I will do, uh, I'll open one product that is this one, uh, this one Jost duffel bag. Now let me just refresh uh, this particular product and uh, I'll show you the quantity then I'll explain the back order part. So the quantity is 10, okay? And if I scroll down, uh, product sellable quantity is zero that means uh, the difference between this and that uh, that product sellable quantity uh, i'll explain uh, uh, like in much more detail like in much detailed fashion uh, in my next videos probably but for today's video just keep in mind that quantity is the total amount of stock uh, whenever the product was created and this is the total amount of inventory that was there when the product was uh, first created or first um, created into my this magento system and this product sellable quantity it denotes that how much quantity uh, is there currently uh, in, my, in my website that means if it is zero that means in my website currently the customers will not be able to place any order okay though the total inventory says that it is 10 okay but the product sellable quantity is zero that means as the name suggests it is sellable quantity that means how much number of quantities are there in my website which the customers can buy so currently the sellable, sellable quantity is zero that means if it is uh, the total inventory is 10 and product sellable quantity is 10 at first then whenever, whenever the customer will place an order that means total inventory will remain 10 but product sellable quantity will reduce by one okay so that means it will become nine so subsequently it will reduce by like whatever number of quantities the customer will place and it subsequently it will uh, like uh, it will be reduced to zero okay so this is the difference between the uh, inventory of a particular product that is the quantity of a particular product and the product sellable quantity now let's come to the concept of back orders so back order basically uh, is helpful for those sellers who wants their uh, product um, to be buyable by the customers on the websites even though the stocks are zero that is even though the product is out of stock that means even uh, that is uh, though the product products are out of stock that is in inventory is zero for that particular product uh, the seller is allowing that product so that the customers can come to the website can they buy the product and everything all the payments and all all are captured everything has been done but at the time of shipping whenever the quantity or whenever the stocks will arrive then only the shipping part will be uh, processed but prior to that everything will be remain as normal whenever the as normal when in case when the product was in, in stock okay i'll say, i'll explain that in a, uh, in a in a short demo so currently if you see the quantity is 10 and product sellable quantity is zero that means by this concept we can understand whenever the customers will visit to buy this product, particular product he will be, he'll not be able to buy it because it is out of stock because the product sellable quantity is zero now let me copy this product and try to search it okay now this is a pot, pr product that is just duffel bag let me click on it now uh, let me add it okay see what it is giving it is giving me an, giving me an error called the requested quantity is not available fine so that means by default the back order of any product is selected as no or it is set as no that means no product at zero quantity or the zero sellable quantity will be uh, will be there for the customers to buy okay so this is the default uh, settings so in order to enable the back orders what you have to do you have to simply go to the configurations stores configuration click on configuration when you go to the configuration there will be a tab called catalog in the catalog there will be another uh, sub uh, tab if you say the inventory over there what you have to do in my case display out of stock products 
I have made it yes because just wanted to give you the demo because if I if I would have make it no then this particular product would not have been in the storefront or in this particular uh, website. So I made it at yeah, made it as yes so that even though it is out of stock, uh, it will allow me to do that particular product in my website. So make it as yes. Okay. Now scroll down. There's another section called product stock options. In the product stock options, you'll find this option called back orders so by default this is the uh, thing settings uh, use system value no back orders okay you have to uncheck it you have to click on this drop down what if there are three options no back orders allow quantity below zero allow quantity below zero and notify the customers so this as you know it is not allowing any products to be uh, back ordered second option means it is allowing that product even though the product is zero that is a product sellable quantity is zero then also it will allow the customers to place an order the third option says is that the same thing as second but only the only additional feature is that it will notify the customers on the website only whenever the whenever they will try to add that particular product okay so let me select this one okay because second and third are same there is no difference only difference is that if i select the third one it will notify the customers on the website only so better if i select this third one okay when when you do that it also says that changing can take some time due to processing the whole catalog because this is a global so it is you are making it as a global settings okay now when you do that uh, it's better if you clear the cache okay let me clear the cache okay uh, it was there probably yeah this one mm, fine let me give some permissions because this is a local system so better to give some permissions okay now uh, what is next next is I have enabled it now what you have to do you have to go to this particular product and there is something that you have to cross check click on this advanced let me huh, this is already let me reload it okay uh, click on advanced inventory quantity is 10 as you all know now go to back order see the back orders it is automatically created and it has taken it from the configured settings so allow quantity below zero and notify the customers okay so this is already selected this for this particular product fine now let us go to this particular product and reload this now see what will happen now if I click on add to cart see you have just added the duffel back to your shopping cart fine now let me place an order when you click on this mini card it is saying we do not have as many quantity as you have requested but we will back order the remaining one that means it is notifying the customers that is the third one if you would have selected the second one this particular message would not have been there so better click on proceed to checkout so only the shipping part everything remains the same only the shipping part will be processed whenever the quantities are back in the inventory or in the warehouse remain everything remains the same that is the payment capture and all so the uh, order has been placed successfully now if you go to this particular uh, product admin page now let me reload it okay so previously what was the product sellable quantity quantity 10 will be there because as i said whenever the cost whenever the product is created the total amount of quantity that has been allotted to this particular product and if i go to this product sellable quantity see it has become minus one just remember this number this is negative one because it has been enabled as back order correct so similarly when other customers places it it will again becomes minus two if it is if they are placing only once uh, one quantity so like this what you can do you can enable the back orders for a particular product and allow the customers to buy that particular product even though uh, uh, it is out of stock even though or even though it is uh, the quantity has given the sellable quantity has fallen to zero that means it is basically used for the high demanding products where the sellers want you to come and purchase that particular product so that only the remaining part is that whenever the uh, that is uh, the warehouse will be filled up for that particular product then again we can they can process it for the shipment part but remaining everything else remains the same and they are also notifying the particular customer so I think uh, this is the whole concept of the back orders and I believe you have got an idea about the back orders and how you can change it and how you can configure it in, uh, in your 
uh, website so if you have any queries any comments any suggestions you are free to give it in the comment section and uh, so yeah if you have liked the video don't forget to hit the like button do subscribe if you if you are loving my uh, videos and and you want that uh, i'll be that you want the certain videos that i put up in my future so do subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button so i'll see you guys the next time take care